Hello and welcome to SnowRunner Mod Review. I'm UK Gamer 808 and today we are looking at the K1500, the Chevy K1500 by MaxMike181. And I like this one, he's done a really nice job of it. It's nice to have different tyre configurations where we've got the wider tyres and he's got a few other different add-ons for it as well. So going inside, it's, I think this is all pretty much the same same though I haven't been in this haven't been in the CK for quite a while so let's go in to the garage and show you what's going on so there it is customization wise so the standard engine is that one there and then we've got these ones and it doesn't seem to make that much difference on the power bar oh it does there you've got the S then the S plus on that one so we're going to go with that one, I think. Or should we go with, with that one? I don't think it really matters, does it? Let's go with that one. And then gearbox-wise, we've got the stock freeway and the snow runner. And he's also got the crawler gearbox, which is custom off-road performance transmission. And then going on suspension-wise, we have the active, which is... Uh, why is that not showing? Oh, yeah, we can have the active with these tyres on, that's why. And then you've got the stock and then raised and detuned which we're opting for the raised to keep it down a little bit lower and then tire wise quite a few highways all terrains on there you can see we've got quite a few different options for it where this is the main one where a lot of the stock vehicles vehicles they don't have these light, larger tire options but this one has and we've also got the quasi tires which yeah i like the look of them they're pretty nice tires ones with the studs in and what have you and you see there is quite a few on there just like that we've got a hell of a few different tire options and then moving on spare wheel option you've got the spare wheel on the back there you can have that or not have it and then the snorkel you've got a couple of different wedge caps that these ones are different here i've never seen those two before that one yeah i haven't seen that one before i'm sure that's different the wedge cap there and then we have the high tool facing front and then frame add-ons we've got the roof rack and the small roof rack and trunk repair supplies so I've got a few supplies on there and I do like like it with that frame on the back it uh, looks pretty nice but I'm on rank six my ranks reset again hasn't it bloody thing anyway bumpers we've got a few different bumper options on there and then a rooftop I think these are pretty much the same I think we'll leave the we we'll put the uh, the other where is it that one on the top no we can't because I need I've got to go and sort me um, the rank out again never mind anyhow and then we got it's got a few different because that one was uh, different and I think we'll have that one today that's quite a big beefy one that is there so we've got and that one few different options on there you shouldn't sustain much damage with that should you really and then we have a searchlight option for it angled visor and various other add-ons then exhaust axle dump and rear so we do the axle dump leave that on there and then a couple of different rims available which is you don't really see many with different rims like that i like those they're quite nice let's have those ones today and then color choices we've just got all those color choices there just like that and then your bubble heads which you get really excited for i know and then accessories stickers just like that and no interior exterior stickers at the moment and i thought i took those lights off but never mind what well, the main thing i wanted was just some frame add-ons so if i do roll it and get damaged we can sort itself out now yeah the winch options actually i didn't show the winch options did i it's got an autonomous plus so hopefully that should be a little bit longer trailer options and you can see we have quite a few trader options available so onward and I think today 
on this video we're going to go straight over now you can see with this with this crawler gearbox it has got quite a bit of power to it but you have got the low plus minus so if you want that you can have it and I think we'll head down this way go across the river and go down that way I think whoa there we go oh bugger but I've had a go with this one and it seems to be pretty stable now this is one of the mods that Maxmite 181 is going to be bringing to console mods as soon as they're asking for them because at the moment they have got a list of mods which are approved for console really or getting approved at the moment so um, they've, you, nobody else can submit them until well I suppose it'd be until they drop until we get the the update and we start getting console mods Hang on, let's go a little bit slower because that's half my trouble and we may as well go into low so it has got permanent diff on it anyhow and yeah straight away through the mud but it's a nice looking truck oh yeah I'm a fan of the the Chevys anyway they're nice trucks I'm, I like most trucks to be honest there's not many I don't not like Let's put it into the auto and see how that goes and then we'll swing a left just down here I think we go that way today why not because I do like this little track running down here you get a, gotta be careful though you do get a little bit of speed up whoa. and whoa whoa there we go and as long as you know where you're going you normally come out of it okay there's this bit down here you come down here and you're like whoa where's the track well it's behind the trees you can't really see it that one tree's blocking it so we've got our snorkel anyhow so we should be okay with going through the mud and the water and yeah that doesn't even really need low or diff at the moment but I do like the look of it it's a really nice truck look at it those big old t big ass tires on there love it cracking nice mod and a little bit more tweaked than the standard one but it's not too tweet, so let's put it into low. And that's it, we go nice and slowly through there. Probably go into high, yeah, let's go into high way. And high is power, baby. As you can see, whoa. And there's, yeah, there's plenty of power. So that's what I like about these gearboxes, see. I would rather have the high so it is a sort of a next up gear where some of them it just drops the, the revs down well not the revs it drops the fuel consumption down but and it goes a bit slower but you know I prefer high to be high so it is that little bit faster whoa missed the turn and now we want to head up the hill because I think we go over the top and then not head up way back the other way so so yeah there's a huge difference with different gearboxes for the high where this one is suited very well I do like it because it's controllable you have got that that power there which you can see we put the power down You've got to be careful but it's very stable even with that high because uh, it is a bit of fun having you know driving it with a, a little bit of a faster gearbox on there and it doesn't make it easier it really doesn't but yeah it's flying well there we go yeah keep going job is a good one and we want to keep going back up well there we go I thought I was gonna lose it there oh we're gonna stall it we come to a stop so let's put it back into the auto and see how we get on with that while we go through here down over the other side and then we've got all the mud obstacles to go through and I think we'll come back up the other way over on the other side of the river but loving it 
Now Max Mike has done quite a few of these mods. Whoa! What the hell is that? I'll tell you what that is. That is a mod or a trailer or something up in the air. We're not going to be able to see it, are we? We need to get on a slight angle. And you've got lines over there as well. But one thing I do know is you touch those, we're not going to be able to see it. I really wish they sort the camera out so it's not restrictive. Like at the moment, you go down, that's it. I want to go down to, further to the floor so we can actually see what that is because that is a trailer. Well, might be able to see. No, we still can't see going in that way. But one thing I have found is if you hit those lines or go anywhere near it, you will fly. You will fly right the way across the map, which is. We don't really want that on this mod review. But I'm not sure what that one is there. Because this is a new map. So can we see it now we're further away? No. It's so annoying. You just can't see the bloody thing. We might be able to see what it is as we go out. But there's definitely a mod attached to that. Because that is a PTS problem. Which uh, I've seen arise quite a bit just get near it and you're like what's all those lines that's a bit strange and it's like yeah the mod is in pieces and we still can't see the bloody thing it's up, up really high in the air by the looks of it let's see if we can get this vehicle up there and then we might yeah see the, the camera it just doesn't go down far enough but anyway let's not get sidetracked on mods ready to explode and let's head our way back down this way but it performs on the it's not not uh, really stable no problems with it apart from the fact you've lost the bloody road now oh well let's go onward it doesn't matter we can go through here there's probably going to be a load of rocks in the way or something, but no, it doesn't matter. We're back through. Yes, no issues. Back out on the open road. Let's go into the high box. Oh, bugger. It's the only thing you start moving, stop. Lose your momentum. And you lose your speed so let's pop it up into high see that's what i want the high to do is you put it in and you're like whoa yeah i can fly off here if i want to it seems pr pretty good on the juice the old 150 litre tank we've only used 20 and that is going to need a little bit of low to go through there there we go beautiful It's a nice looking truck, love it. Right, I think we can probably come back into the auto and go through this water now. Yeah, we're going to want low again for that one. Now the extended. Oh, I'll tell you what, let's see how far it do. Oh, that's not bad. So let's try and winch over that one there. There's the, get it over that side. There it is. And that should help us through a little bit. Because this bit does get a little bit deep. But we've got a lift on it. So we should be okay. Yeah. Back out the other side. And then back on the power. Just like that. But this is what I do love. I just love mods what you can get going. You want to put the power down you can do. Because... I know a lot of them are quite slow. But that's why I want whoa the high for oh oh I thought we we're gonna get some damage off those tree stumps, but no, just managed to get around that. Yeah, it's just nice to put it in the high and take off. I think we're gonna head straight over this way. No 
don't think the water's that deep. Well, we'll go up here a little bit because I know it's not not deep here. We shouldn't have any issues. Oh, as he runs straight into a deeper bit. Yeah, we're going to want low for that as we are floating off. Any trees in front of us? No, nope, nothing. And yeah, we're not getting much traction actually. Are we going forward? We're going there. The current is taking us. Come on, visible winch position. There we go. We got one. We have a winch. We are saved. Because it does get a little bit deeper down that way. Lovely. Put it back into the auto. Get rid of that. Jobs are good, aren't they? Right, I tell you what, I'm. Oh, I see. I came over. I tell you what, I was thought I was somewhere totally. I thought I was over that bit of the island there. So now, how the hell are we getting back over there? That looks like it's a bit too deep. Yeah, of course it is. So I've stumped us now. Oh, it looks like we might be able to head across a bit of sand that way. This is all new to me. I haven't been over here before. Normally you just go down that set route and that's your lot. But that's where we want to head over to, is that bit over there. But whether... Well, we can work our way around, can't we? Yes. No problem. I thought we got ourselves in a position where we are going to have to turn around and go back on ourselves. But we can work our way round. Especially if we get out of this mud. There we go, back out of the mud. Put it into the auto now and get a bit more speed up. Oh, I thought, but no, we're still in that little bit of mud. We not bother going into the trees because we get into trouble, we go that way. Go into low and ease off the power. So we can just creep along. Jobs are good in. That cracking mod. Love it. Come on then. Get out of that mud. Because we need to get back on the power. Let's go. Alrighty. Yeah, it's not too bad on the fuel. We've done quite a bit of distance. And we've only used, what, 28 litres? And I've been somewhere new I haven't been before. Nice. Right, let's head up the track this way. Put it into high. And let's fly up this hill. You can see it is it is quite stable even when you got the power down. Where well, I've noticed some of these mods you um, put the power down when you're going into when you got a bit OP and they do take off a bit too much. Yeah, I'm not hanging out. There we go. Sustained a little bit of damage there, but not too much. Let's do a repair as we have repairs with us. Nope, that's the one. Good as new. Put it into the high. See what I mean? That high. Love it. Oh, yeah. Bugger. And we're going to have to select the right winch position on that. We want that one there. And then, oh, there it is. We got it. Flip her back, back over. Let's get ourselves rubber side down again. There we go. That was my fault. I was just going a bit too fast hit that one rut and you're away whoa whoa that was good at least I managed to keep it there come on 
Get out of the way. I've already damaged the engine. And there we go. Work our bay right way back round. It's a nice little track that down the side of Smithville on the way to Island Lake. Hit the eye and let's go. Yeah, it's not going to go straight away through that, is it? Keep the power on and see what happens when it grips. Probably grip and fly off. Here we go, we nearly got the traction. Bang. And we are away. Whoa. Yeah, whoa. Yeah, and I'll tell you what, I shouldn't really go straight through the middle of it because one of the things I have learned in Snowrunner is if there's a load of mud, just don't drive through the middle of it, otherwise you'll be there for 10 minutes trying to get back out. Well, you don't need to. If you can go round, in real life, if there's a big mud bog, do you go straight through the middle or do you go round? Yeah, you go round. And back onto the tarmac. Now high will work a treat on the road. Hit really well. Fantastic. Nice mod. Nice mod that one by Max Mike 181 Thank you for bringing that to us. Fantastic. And he is going to submit this for console approval, like I said. So we'll leave it to there for today's SnowRunner mod review. I hope you've enjoyed this episode. And if you did, why not go and check out one of my other videos? Got plenty to choose from. And did you know I cover SnowRunner news? Thanks for watching. Till the next time, goodbye.